Hey mommies, how are you? So I have an interesting topic today because um, it's something that a lot of new moms kind of wonder about whether, you know, a pacifier, a dummy, a binky, whatever you want to call it, if it's something that is good um, or like if is it like an essential uh, when you have a newborn um, and you know how how do you how do you get rid of it later is it good to introduce when do you introduce it so there's a lot of questions behind it and surprisingly it's like one of the number one things that you see on like wish lists for like baby showers and things like that and I remember when I had my first baby shower I got like a thousand of them and then um, all my family members were like, oh my God, make sure that when you go to the hospital, you take your pacifier. And in fact, surprisingly, when I went to the um, breastfeeding preparation classes and a lot of the Lamas classes for the hospital, they said that in your little bag that you take to the hospital, you should have some pacifiers. So um, the big question with the pacifiers is, <laughs> no one uses this one in my household. In fact, my kids didn't really like pacifiers. Um, and in Hispanic culture, like I'm like Latino, um, my mom and my, my mom's family and my husband's family, they're all from um, Colombia. So it's a big thing there. So it's like um, I had this horrible experience where I, I, you know, I didn't really think too much about the pacifier to begin with. But what would happen was that with my first son, Samuel, um, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law were here with us uh, when he was born helping us out and it was amazing because it was great to have an extra pair of hands um, but one of the things that was funny was that um, um, my mother-in-law every time that Samuel would pop out his pacifier she would put it back on again and then I was like oh great you know the baby's gonna be quiet and then the horrible thing was that at night every time his pacifier fell off he would start crying so i would get up in the night like a gazillion times to put the pacifier back in his mouth and then after a few nights of that i was like okay no this cannot continue because i'm not getting any sleep and it was just like a nightmare so i started to wean him off the the pacifier and then in fact about two months later he didn't even like the pacifier anymore so from like two three months he just refused the pacifier and i tend to to see that that is the case also with breastfed babies they're not as keen on the pacifier um and obviously the the pacifier use you see that it's most um i would say i, I would say that most babies, if they like the pacifier, they like it between, you know, zero to six months because that's when they have the strongest urge to suckle. Um, and some of them like it after because of teething and it helps with teething and things like that. Um, but pacifiers, the interesting thing is, and I just wanted to bring some facts for you to know in case, you know, you're a, mom, a new mom or you're pregnant and you're, you know, a pacifier is something that you've considered buying. Uh, well, first of all, it's not an essential thing. Really, a pacifier, all it is really, it just replaces a nipple, basically. That's what it does. Um, so if you have a breastfed baby, you should be putting your baby on your breast as much as possible because every time that you put this in his mouth, um, it's taking away stimulation that you could have at your breast to help establish your milk supply. So in that sense, um, I really don't recommend using a pacifier if you're, uh, you know, if you're a new mom and you want to breastfeed. If you have a formula fed baby, then that's a whole different thing. But you should know um, whichever type of mom you are, if you're breastfeeding or if you're a formula feeding mom. Um, babies that do um, take to the pacifier, they are more prone to ear infections, if you didn't know. So that's something important to know. Also, there are increased risk for infections and illness and stuff like that because obviously these little things, it's easy to get germs on them and they go in the mouth. So it's really important that if you are gonna use a pacifier, um, my like tips would be don't force your child to have the pacifier, which is um, what I've see, experienced a lot like, oh, the baby's crying, oh, where's the pacifier? Where's, put it in his mouth. No, if your baby's crying it's because they're hungry or they need comfort or something's wrong, babies cry because they can't communicate like you and I do. So they cry to let you know something's wrong or I need something. So avoid using the pacifier for like, um, you know, to distract your baby if, if um, you know, they're about to have a feeding and you're trying to distract them with the pacifier, they will calm down, but um, they're not getting what they need. Or if your baby just wants to be comforted at night and things like that, 
don't just use a pacifier to just kind of like switch off. Um, you know, your baby needs comfort and they, they cry for, for that reason. And that's what happens when they're, when they're newborn. A lot of people say, oh my God, your baby cries so much. Well, hey, yeah, it's a baby. Uh, that's what they're supposed to do. So um, that's something that I wanted to say about the pacifier. The other thing is also in regards to the pacifier, like I said, don't force your baby. Like I said, my baby, um, I think Isaac especially, he did not like the pacifier. Like, again, one of the things in, in Hispanic culture, they uh, I would have like the pacifiers because people would buy them for me and I would have them in my house and like, oh, put the pacifier in his mouth. And he would like spit it out. He's he, like, put it in and be like, like this straight away. He's like, no, don't give me the pacifier. So don't force your baby if they don't like the pacifier. If they do, then that's fine. And I, the, the, the thing that I want to say, I don't want to say like, um, it's ultimately your choice. It comes down to a parenting choice. And I'll, I'll admit myself, I did used to keep one in my diaper bag. And if I would have situations where I was like in the grocery line or I was in the car and we were like close to getting home and my baby's like screaming, but I can't stop the car. I'm in traffic. I would use a pacifier then. And sometimes it did help and I was like oh my god thank god I was about to lose it then and the pacifier saved the day so in in those circumstances you know sometimes you're good to have but if your baby does take well to a pacifier and they do enjoy the pacifier make sure that you wean them off you know when they get to that one year old um try to wean them off the pacifier because it can kind of um affect certain things in their development, like, you know, their jaw development, their teeth and things like that, uh, their speech. So there's no like conclusive evidence that, um, you know, by you introducing a pacifier that it's going to affect that. But I would say that prolonged use of the pacifier can definitely, prolonged use of the pacifier and off um, like the nipple on the bottle. Um, both of those things can hinder things like speech and, you know, jaw development and teeth and th things like that. So you want to be wary of those. So just wanted to bring those little tips about um, the pacifier the pacifier, which I could said, it's kind of like a lifesaver or not lifesaver. So for me, with that experience that I had of those first few months with um, Samuel, where he would like, oh my God, scream every time that pacifier came out of his mouth, uh, I was like, Ugh! one day I just threw them all out. I was like, that's it. I'm never going to use a pacifier again. And there, a year later, when I had my other son, Isaac, they're all back because people bought them for me. So, um, so yeah, that's the thing with the pacifier. What was your experience with the pacifier? Um, I'd love to hear some like contradicting, um, experiences, you know, the mom that the pacifier was a lifesaver or the mom that hates the pacifier and like, I'm never going to introduce another child to a pacifier. Um, that is interesting to know because all kids, you know, they're different. And like I said, it's interesting that I do find that most breastfeeding babies, they don't take well to the pacifier. Obviously they're not going to take well to it because what's the like nice, this silicon thing, how is it going to feel in your mouth compared to, you know, your mom's smell and it's warm and it's like soft, you know, it's obvious that, um, they're not going to take well to the pacifier, but some of them do, all kids are different. So it's interesting to hear other moms' experiences. Okay, mommies, bye.